Hamashashka, Tsohonats, reporting straight from Russia. I wanted to cover a topic about famous Hollywood director Quentin Tarantino, who came to Moscow, Russia, last month to present his latest movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And so I cycled through some newspapers and online magazines to see what has been mostly said about the occasion. And the first thing that attracted my attention is the like presentation of that occasion, of that event. Uh, depending on the audience uh, that newspaper is directed at. Say, Russian magazines like directed at Russian audience uh, mostly concentrated on the idea that famous person came to Russia and was fascinated by sight by the sightseeing and all that stuff and uh, due to really funny photos of Quentin in Moscow uh, he became a, a Russian meme so as you can see like funny images with captions from Twitter uh, so like mostly no political context just like funny pictures and captions yeah mostly from Twitter some of them are just straight off silly that's it and what really caught my attention is that media directed at so-called Western English-speaking audiences uh, actually differed on the coverage of the occasion pretty significantly. The difference is really stark. Uh, for instance, the famous Russia Today, which is broadcast in English and directed at uh, English-speaking audiences, covered the story of Tarantino's visit absolutely differently. So you get to Russia Today's website and straight off and straight away what you see is right at the title racism, sexism and that just straight away made me think about the stark differences in like the the discourse the public discourse of the same events in like mostly how it's being covered how it's being presented depending on the audience it feels like there is no absolutely no uh, social justice movement is that what it's called and I don't know if that's uh, it's just out of our heads there is no public coverage of those topics and I'm, I'm, I don't really know if that's because of we're just not there yet we're not we haven't matured enough to be discussing social justice questions or whether it's just a cultural thing I don't know it's another topic another a topic for another video and a very serious question so but anyway this is the thing that really differs and it's that really gets your attention when it comes to the same event the way it is presented in Russia there is just no accusations of sexism and there is no accusations of racism or any other topics of that kind it's just out of the way it's just like whoosh goes over our heads and that's it it's just out of our public talks it's out of coverage well anyway as you can see I'm still struggling with my language.
and I'm heavily trying to cover up for that as fast as I can, but still long way to go. I'm trying to get there, but still this is what you get. In any case, I'll be continuing doing that, trying to cover some topics until uh, it becomes more natural and uh, it'll be uh, easier for you to understand me and it'll be easier for me to generate the thoughts in my head and get them flawlessly to you. But anyway, this is the, the main idea for the day. I wanted to cover it more broadly and deeply and this is a, this is still a great issue for another video i hope i'll be able to work it out in a more interesting way but this is like the main idea this like the first thing that would come to your attention is the public discourse things that we talk about covering the same topic in Russian speaking media outlets and, and English speaking, even based in the same country like Russia Today and I don't know, Medusa, which is an online newspaper in Russian. And I mean, the same outlets like this, the, the media based in the same country, but directed at different audiences is covering the same issue in a different in a different angle of view and i think it's really interesting i mean it it, it says a lot about the state of public consciousness so anyway here's my quick draft idea which i wanted to discuss it's still pretty superficial but i hope to get it more more elaborate pretty soon so thanks for the watch as always uh, subscribe to my instagram for some minor updates and like personal experiences and please feel free to write down in the comment section below all the things you'd like to know about from the inner perspective from someone who is living in russia like me uh, don't forget to hit thumbs up and, well, see you in the next video. Пока.